the enthalpy or delta H of formation is um, a value that's calculated when you take and consider the amount of heat either given off or um, taken in when one mole of the substance is produced or formed. Okay, sometimes by looking at one mole, you're going to have in your balanced equation, you're going to have fractions as a reactant, and that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. The conditions for, uh, so these are bullet points, the conditions some are often, or I'm sorry, not often, are the conditions are at 1 atm and 0 celsius, and any element, um, any substance at its normal elemental state has a value of 0. So if you're looking for O2, it's going to have a value of 0, and the same as um, H2, they're in their elemental state, they are not going to have a delta H value um, in the problem. Okay, so these values are found in your textbook or will be provided in the problem. If you look in your textbook back in Appendix C on page 1112, you'll see a table kind of similar to what I've um, attached here in the image. You can see that um, if we come over here and we look at ammonia, Ammonia has a delta H value of negative 46.19. So that means that 46.19 kilojoules per one mole are released when you form ammonia. Uh, you can see some others in here that you might recognize. Water's down here. Water has negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole. That is heat released when you form water, liquid water. You also have water vapor. So the states are going to become very important. You will need to look at the states as they're listed in the equation and make sure that you pick the appropriate state for um, the values in this chart. Remember, delta H, delta means um, the change. So we are looking at the final minus the initial and... In a chemical equation, the final things are the products, and the initial things are the reactants. So you're going to consider the products minus the reactants. So we find the delta H of the reaction by taking the sum um, of all the delta H of the products minus the sum of all the delta H of the reactants. Now, this term M and N, that is the coefficients. So if you're looking at um, a real simple equation like H2 plus O2 makes H2O, and we were going to actually have this balanced correctly, um, like this, we would find the delta H of reaction, the delta H for the reaction, would be the products minus the reactants. So we would take um, 2 times the delta H of the H2O, and then we would subtract it by all the reactants, and we would take 2 times the delta H for the H2, and 1 times the delta H of the O2. Uh, the numbers came from, uh, in the H2O, you see H2O is here, you have a 2 here, so that 2 is the one that we're multiplying there. And the H2 has a 2 also. And the O2 has no number, so it's a 1. Um, we can go ahead and write that 1 in if that would help you to recognize what's going on there. So again, we're doing the products minus the reactants. And you're going to plug in the numbers for these values of delta H for the H2O, the H2, and the O2. And then you um, add them, subtract them, to find the delta H for the reaction of formation. Here's a sample problem. Um, the equation is provided CaCO3 solid uh, breaks down into CaO solid and CO2 gas. And standard enthalpies of formation are provided here in the far right. Um, and I'm simply asking you to find the delta H of reaction. So you are going to, again, take the products minus the reactants, and you're going to look up the value uh, for CaO. CaO's value is uh, negative 635.5 kilojoules. 
and um, it also has an additional product of CO2 gas, and CO2 gas is negative 393.5 kilojoules, and together their sum will be subtracted from the reactant, and there's only one, and it is negative 1207.1 kilojoules. And so um, I'm going to do that math and solve for the delta H of reaction for the whole reaction. So if I break it into steps and take my 600, negative 635.5 and my negative 393.5 and I add them together, I get negative 1029. And then I'm going to subtract my negative 1207.1. Um, so 1,029 and my 1,207.1, I, I get um, 178.1 kilojoules, and it is positive. And so therefore, what I'm seeing is that the heat um, generated is uh, positive, so therefore it's a reactant, and it is endothermic. This is your homework problem. I've given you the balanced chemical equation and the chart of standard enthalpies of formation. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to find the delta H of reaction for the reaction I provided you. Keep in mind that you have a coefficient of 2 here, do make sure that you use um, it appropriately and be aware that your water is in vapor form. When you set up and solve this problem, make sure you upload uh, your evidence of work into Schoology in the appropriate um, assignment.